I can't believe I did it. I'm just so shocked. Today we're doing a DIY and we're making Lord's Solar Power Yellow Set and I am super excited to see how it turns out. It was originally made by Colleen Estrada and it's really nice. It's about $375 for the skirt and $275 for the top. So I wanted to see if we could maybe make it ourselves. So I bought three meters of just like polyester fabric and I'm going to use the wrong side of the fabric so it's not like too shiny. So we're gonna start with the skirt. I'm gonna use this free pattern from Mood Fabrics. So I'm just gonna cut two pieces from this pattern and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I was a bit confused about the sizing chart that they have on Mood Fabrics because my hips are a size 9, but everything else is a size 2, so that was really weird. I just decided to err on the side of caution because I did not want to cut these out and find out that they would be too small. It would be devastating, and it's so much easier to just take fabric away. So once I had hemmed both of those pieces, I put them on my dress form so I could kind of like shape them the way that I wanted to and this took a lot of contemplation as you can tell. Um, but I was actually really sad to not use the shiny side of the fabric because it was so nice and pretty but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I had the top seam kind of hit me just below my belly button because that's what it seemed like the actual one was looking like. And then I just kept taking it in, taking it in, because I wanted it to look like exactly like the photo, and I'm a little bit too much of a perfectionist, but I think it turned out good. I was then able to start pinning and sewing the zipper on. Good morning. Okay, so last night I did the zipper and it's actually looking pretty good. I'm slowly getting better at zippers. Now I'm just gonna do it the side seams. So I just need to do up the one seam all the way down and then the other one below the zipper. And then we're gonna work on the hem. Okay, so we are now done the skirt. So for the top, I have this tank top that like fits me okay. So I've marked a pin here where I want the seam to kind of be. And then I'm also going to add a centimeter or two of width right here, um, just so I'm able to gather it. And then we're going to trace the back. Then we're gonna cut it out of the fabric. So I really hope this goes well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so for this pattern, I'm just using that brown wrapping paper that you can get from like Dollarama, and I just traced my shirt kind of on it. I didn't add any seam allowance. I'll add seam allowance to my fabric afterwards. I traced the neckline, and then I made sure that the bottom seam was straight and lined up, um, and then I just cut it out. I maybe should have just traced half of the shirt like I'm doing here for the back, and then folded the fabric in half underneath it when I cut it out, um, but you know, it all worked out. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so I have cut out both of the pieces for the top. I also pinned the shoulders together. So next I'm going to sew the shoulders up, right sides together, and then we're gonna work on the front of the top. We're going to do the gathers two centimeters from the bottom, and then we're gonna go from there. You know, gathers are going to be the death of me, truly, one day, because of all these little knots that you have to do. I always end up ripping them, and you guys don't see it because I just don't show it, but it just always comes out for me. But anyways, you know the drill. Long stitch length, and then you tie three the ends, and then you pull it along the fabric. Here is the next morning, and I am working on the front hem. Okay, so I... Oh, my voice. Okay, so I pinned the bottom half of the front of the shirt, and now I'm just gonna sew along it. After we do this, I'm going to do the gathers in the very middle, and then we're gonna put the underwire in. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just went to try this on, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't go over my head, so um, I need to fix the neckline and widen it. <laughs> This is where we're at. 
I wish I could gather the middle a little bit more, but I just don't know if it's gonna pull too much. I'm worried I'm going to have a nip slip and that's just, I should definitely gather it more. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> Okay, I feel like that looks a little bit better. I made it longer. I'm just gonna throw it over my head now, see what it looks like. So my original plan for the underwire was to get underwire from an old bra, but let me tell you, it was not easy to get this out. I really struggled against it, and I realized I'm a danger to myself and others with scissors after watching this back, and I should not be unsupervised. <laughs> I got it. Okay, so you're gonna get something like this out of your bra. <gasps> Hopefully it works. I am genuinely impressed with myself that this is actually working. Good morning. Okay, so I may have spoken too soon when I said that the curve would be fine with this. Um, it's not because I want the side seam to be like straight. I don't want it to curve up. I want it to like curve to the side and it's just not gonna curve to the side if this is in its way. So I'm gonna cut off 4.5 centimeters from the edge of this with these and then I'm just going to cover the end with like hot glue or something so it doesn't stab me. Ow. I'm not sure what to do. I also bought this wire from Canadian Tire that I could use instead but this is just like a better shape and thickness so I'd rather like make this work if I can. I did it. Okay, so these ends are actually quite sharp. So I think I am going to put like, ow. <laughs> I think I am gonna put like hot glue or something on the edges so I don't stab myself. And then we're gonna shape it and we're just gonna stick it in. Then I started working on the back hem and before you start pinning or anything, you wanna make sure that it's going to line up with your front hem when you finish it all. Um, so I just started pinning and then I sewed it up. And this is where my end product differs from the actual one because it was just too big for me in the back so I had to add the start or it would look ridiculous. <laughs> So we're slowly chipping away at this. I finished having the armpits. Now we are going to do the side seams. So you actually have to insert a zipper on one side of the shirt and it would be so much easier if you had a separating zipper, but I did not. So I had to make my shirt a slightly bigger for me at the bottom so I could like actually get it on and off with the zipper partially zipped up. And then I just finished the ends with some needle and thread. Okay, you guys, so it's kind of late at night, but I tried the set on and it looks so good. I'm not done. There's obviously things I need to like finish and like cut, etc. But I'm very proud. <laughs> I can't believe I did it. Like I, I freaking did it. Good morning, guys. Okay, so this is going to be the last day of sewing. All I really have left to do is the neckline and the keyhole in the back, and then I'm just gonna do some finishing touches, and then we're done. And once we're done all that, I'll show you guys the finished product, and then I guess I'll see you guys for the end. So I first had to cut out the little keyhole detail because I didn't want to just like chop through the finished seam all around the neckline and have it like rip. Um, so here I am working on the seam. Don't forget to clip your edges. It will make life so much easier. Trust me. Once I had finished with the neckline, I could pin and sew the keyhole detail. And then I used this really thin elastic to hold my button in place on the opposite side, um, make it just slightly smaller than the actual button so it kind of will stretch into it. After that, I could see the finish line and all I had left to do was to sew on this button and I just couldn't wait to be done. But finally, you guys get to see the finished product. Thank you. 
So in conclusion, here are the things that I would do differently if I had to do this again. Number one, I would add more fabric to the back so that this keyhole was not so like funny. I don't know if you can see it in the final design, but it does kind of pull at the size of the keyhole and I just am not sure how to fix it. But I think that would be fixed if there was more fabric for me to work with in the back. Number two, I would also add more fabric to the bottom right here so that I can gather it more below the cups. And those are kind of the only two things that I would change. It actually turned out pretty good in my opinion. Like it's pretty close. If you want to see me redo more designer wear, subscribe. If you like this video, leave a like. If you have any questions about like how to do this or if you have any requests, let me know. I can definitely look into it, see if I can do it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ow. Ow. I'm just kidding. <laughs>